Oh, well, thanks for being a fuckhead. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albina Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino. You have Average Joe. We have this beer that was sent to us by Lee Hoogley's Beer Reviews, El Harlock. Thank you very much. Bing, 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 bing. bing. Uh, this is Rare Rock Hunky Dory Pale Ale from Sherbrooke. Uh, Sherbrooke, uh, fuck, I, I gotta look at it in a second. Sherbrooke, isn't it? Uh, Shelbrooke. Shell Burns. Shell Burns, oh, Nova Scotia. Christ. I'm blind. Leave me the fuck alone. I, you gave me the I blind. Didn't, hey, the I, didn't, I didn't say oh Christ because you read it wrong. Water, malt, <laughs> hops. <laughs> you you read it. Oh Christ <laughs> almighty, man. <laughs> okay, no. Wall, water, malt, green tea, honey, hops, lemon zest, orange zest, yeast. That's it. <laughs> but so that's a pretty interesting... Green uh, tea, yeah. Green tea, honey, orange, and lemon zest. Mm. That's bizarre. Honey, yeah, honey. Ooh, this this sounds very interesting. Kind of sounds like my tea in the morning, but I, I, I do remember him reviewing it, and uh, it seemed to be a novel. So sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, it does. It just seems like a, a lot of unique ingredients yeah. that honey yeah. zest. Yeah. For me, the green tea, tea just is like yeah, the green it's tea, a tea thing. Tea in a wants bottle. it. Uh, can I like, smell it before it goes away? <laughs> Oh, you guys take as much. Yeah, that's a that's a beautiful <laughs> golden color. Look at that. It actually is a very pale pale ale. Yeah. yeah. It almost looks like an adjunct lager. It's a little shade darker. I was gonna say this is looking like a bud right now. No. <laughs> nice little white head. What the fuck? Yeah, you heard me. Nice little white head. Oh, oh I'm getting green tea and I'm getting hops. Kind of smells like Thai food leftovers in the fridge. Yeah. It's cold. <laughs> That's exactly no, seriously, like 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 kefir lime leaves and and all that stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah. Cilantro. I, totally, it's all in there. It's even fucking the honey, Thai food. Even I'm getting the honey now. It all the way in the back, but it's there, and that's crazy. Cold Thai food leftover. Oh, cold Thai food leftover beer. Yeah, I mean, the thing I mean, is, over, <laughs> where's the bottle over there? That, that's a pale ale, right? It's yep. Yeah. Gray. Doesn't, it really doesn't remind me too much of a pale ale. But so I would far. say it's like a herb spice beer, if anything, obviously. But yeah, it's still the more you smell, smell it, the more the green tea comes out. But mm -hmm. it's still mixing with everything else. So just strangely, but amazingly at the same time. Well, that's that's green zesty. Tea. Green tea is really Cheers. pale, right? Cheers, yeah. everybody. Cheers to the YouTube. Doesn't taste like leftover time. <laughs> that is not Peggy Mount. <laughs> <laughs> What just happened? I don't know. It's smoke, I don't know. You got hit with a pale ale that was just extremely bitter and with little flavor. flavor. And then all of a sudden the green tea kind of hit me and it just wasn't with anything else, which I wouldn't say was off putting, but definitely didn't make sense <laughs> on my palate. On my palate. Yeah, you get hit with just a full on bitterness mm -hmm. first, just full on in your face bitterness. No distinct top characteristics, just, no, just bitter. bitter. Which could be the lemon zest and the orange zest. I mean, zest is coming usually from the skins. Uh, yeah, I mean, is it zest or pith? There's a little sweet. Yeah, more, <laughs> more. If, for me, it just goes bitterness, some green tea, smidge of sweetness, which I assume is the honey, and bit. then just gone. That's it. Okay. And now, but but it actually, the bitterness, even though it's hitting the front, it's still like a residual on the like entire mouth. Yeah, it just hits <laughs> everywhere it's touched. It is, and it just is a very light emanation. It hits you hard, and then you get a light emanation of bitterness throughout the whole mouth. And then, you're right, then you get the green tea, which it dries everything out, and then it's basically yeah, gone. It's a, very, a very dry beer, right? Shadow key. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This was interesting, but that's about all I can say right now. Yeah, but for a dry beer, this is the first time I ever have one that actually is. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think they're selling it as that, but... No. Um, I think... A big time hop head could love this because of the fact that it just hits your whole palate with the with the bitterness. Well, well it, it, a hop head that actually cares for the bitterness just wants the bitterness as opposed to the actual flavors from the hops, because I wouldn't consider myself a hop head, and a lot of us here would not. But if we're we're hit with a tropical fruit, citrusy, hop bomb, not necessarily bitter, but it has the correct flavors for us. This needs to be someone just likes bitter beer. Yeah, just somebody that wants to do that. Yeah. Case the whole time. Yeah. Keystone. Like some, some Keystone light. I don't know. I don't 
better be throwing on me. <laughs> James went from like a one to now it's like a five, and by the end of this it'll be like a nine seven five. And we'll be oh no, I'm just I'm crawling up to a six on that. I kind of wish I had a little more. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's not vile or anything. It's just no, with each with each subsequent sip, the uh, bitterness lasted less time on your palate, which made it worthwhile more and more. Um, but in all honesty, not not amazingly great, not disgusting, not offensive, just weird. Uh, I do like the uniqueness. Like the one consistent for me, or the one constant is uh, the green tea. It's, it's there yeah, every sip. Taste. Yeah, and it doesn't. Doesn't detract it. It's not. It's not like it's one time. It's very powerful, and the next time it's subtle. It's just consistently there. Decent flavor. Well, now, probably one of the main ingredients, right? It's it is the uh, second, third, third after third. water and malt. So there yeah, it's pretty. That's why I would give this. I would probably give it a five seven five. I could drink it. I wouldn't want to pay for it. I wouldn't want to drink more than one or two bottles either because. I think that's going to build up on your palate pretty good because I mean oh, my yeah. tongue already feels hairy. Your teeth wiggling? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, since Ken's not here, my teeth are wiggling. Nice. I would. Uh, I'm with James. I'd give it a six. I think. Uh, I'd give it. A, I think it, I, for me, it's a little bit above average just because it's unique. It's not your typical five, five and a half beer that's just like, eh, whatever. I could drink it, but I don't want to. It does have some unique flavors. And I think, like you said, it could really be a, a great beer for someone who loves the bitterness. Yeah. And I know Lee, I think, was a big fan of this. So, or I don't know about a big fan, but I think he's seven, eight range. So, definitely, t like all craft beer, to each your own, to each their own. But yeah, six, six for me. All righty. Anyone else want to give some final words before I say we go? A five nine for me. It's just hunky dory, I guess. <laughs> someone <laughs> had to do it. <laughs> and of course, it would be the punt. That's it's like a. I was really not into it. Four or five. I don't know what it is. The, the aftertaste on it just kills me. You like green tea? Not. It reminded me a lot of a lot of old style Czech pilsners, which I'm 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 pretty cool with. It had that crispness and that dryness, and I and I enjoyed it. I, I don't mind that sort of bitter too much because it's kind of tame. It's there, but so it's, I mean, I if if it was cold and I needed something, and someone was like, "Hey, about that," I'm like, "Sweet, that's pretty great," and I would do it, and I would love it. Well, so. the one great thing about a lot of beers, but this one in general, or this one specifically, is that's like. When you take a sip or two, you, sometimes you just got to drink the entire beer or drink half the beer and just let it build up on your palate and see what you see. It started off probably in his range, four yeah. and a half, but got up to six because let it go. Indeed. Thank you, guys. Goodbye. Yeah.